Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm an education specialist here at the Charlotte Museum from History, and I am delighted to welcome you back to another one of our Museum from Home programs. This week we are celebrating Independence Week virtually together here so that we can gather safely and celebrate all of these different ideals of the American Declaration of Independence, the ideas that everyone uh, is entitled to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, and that everyone is equal. And we want to challenge you this year to think about how you personally in 2020 can make sure that those ideals are realized and to celebrate those ideals. So what I've got today is I've got a couple of different ways that you can create your own celebration at home. Uh, you are going to be able to make things like our little uh, firework displays here. All you need is you just need a blank piece of paper and you can take little muffin cups and just cut them and flatten them and they look like fireworks. Uh, you can try your hand at making your own little parade float uh, to have your own parade here at your home. Uh, or you can also make firework poppers. So these right here are using confetti. I've just cut up some little strips of paper. You can also use glitter if you're a very, very brave soul. Uh, but these here are going to be safe to celebrate with because they don't involve fire or flames. The only thing you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of cardboard tube. That's what this is right here. You can use toilet paper rolls or you can cut down a paper towel roll. You need a piece of paper that you can wrap around to use as the template for your decorating. So I just cut a piece of black construction paper down to size. Uh, you need some kind of tape. You can use duct tape. I happen to have some packing tape around, so that's what I'm using. Uh, I also like to have a stapler just in case I end up needing it. You need a couple of different things to decorate with. I have some paints and I have some markers. You need scissors to help you with the cutting and you need one of these right here, a nice balloon. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab my balloon here and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it in half. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, you want to go right along the biggest part of the balloon here because you need enough space to work with later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that right there. Now what I need to do is I actually need to tie a knot in the end. And the easiest way to do this is to kind of use a couple of fingers and basically look like you don't know what you're doing for a moment. And then there we go. Magically, it looks tight. Here's where I recommend getting an adult to help you out. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to take the balloon and you're going to pull it apart and you're going to stretch it right over the top of your cardboard tube here. Now, if you're not careful, this is where it's going to bounce back and it's no longer going to stay in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a nice piece of my tape here and I'm going to go like this and I'm basically going to line it up and I'm going to wrap it around the edge to help hold that balloon in place so that when I'm using it, it's not going to come off. And I always like to be a little careful and grab a couple of pieces of tape just in case, just to give it a little extra help. You can do this on the outside of your little um, decorative paper. I'm doing it underneath because I had a plan. All right, so that's gonna hold that in place right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper here. I'm going to get that lined up so that it's all the way around. And one of the things that I like to do here, you do not have to do this, um, but I like to take my stapler and use that to help hold it in place. That way it's attached. You can use hot glue if you have that, or you can use your tape and just tape it right on. So what I have is I have the beginnings of my little popper here, but it's time to decorate. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to decorate it so it looks like it's got some fireworks on it. So I had some paints. These right here, I like, um, these are actually window glass paints that I've used for a couple of other things. And so I like them because they have a nice little easy squeeze thing on them. But what you can do is you can basically create your little firework explosions. So I'm going with some red. I'm going to go with a little bit of blue here. And I guess I am going to be a brave soul today. I'm going to take this paint right here that has just a little bit of glitter in it. And so over the next couple weeks when I'm covered from head to toe in glitter in every one of our Museum From Home videos, you know why.
All right, so I have my nice little fireworks here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice little bit of this confetti right here, and you are going to have to experiment with exactly how much confetti to add. Add too much and it's not gonna to wanna to come out. Add too little and same problem. And then all you need to do is you're gonna grab onto the end. Obviously you would have let this dry before you're trying to do this, but you're gonna grab onto the end, pull that up and the confetti pops out. So you now have your nice little safe confetti popper uh, in order to celebrate the holiday. So thank you for joining us today. We have, are having so much fun bringing you this museum here, in this case museum literally from my home. Uh, we hope you'll share with us any of the creations that you've created by commenting on our social media, and we hope you'll continue to follow along with us in the coming weeks. Thank you so much and have a wonderfully safe holiday.